bubble heads. Some people live for them, some people die for them, and other people put them at the bottom of rather lengthy mine shafts, which will then have to be quested by intrepid adventurers with their own TV show to produce, which is where, of course, I and my bourbon come in. It's been a good bobblehead haul over the last couple of days, although I have had to unfortunately uh, supplement my usual bowler with an incredible amount of armor because of the incredible amount of firepower that's been coming my way. Uh, it would appear that the, uh, the world has been uh, unkind and uh, doesn't wish our show to be the success it was. But on the plus side, I've had time to have a drink, I've had time to use the weapons workshop, and now my, be I think Bessie, maybe just a little bit stronger than she was before. Uh, here she is, the beautiful little weapon she is. I remember when my brother, dear Herbert, first gave in, gave her to me. He said, he said, this weapon is, is shit. That's what he said. However, I don't think that's true anymore. Oh, there's a, there's a circuit breaker. Do you turn the lights on? It's rather dark down there. But strange place for a dwelling. Yes. Good. Let there be light. Let there be mining helmet. Let there be beer bottle. Let there be a terminal. Uh, no, there's nothing useful here. I mean, I don't entirely know what I'm looking for. I guess, I guess I'm guess i kind of hoping for an entry that goes, Dear John, have found Bobblehead and placed it in nearby package. I'm just not entirely sure that's going to happen. Right, where are the people that wish to kill me? There we go. I apparently just hit the floor and they heard it, which is good hearing on their part. Uh, let's, uh, have some fun with the Molotovs. Oh, son of a bitch, that was not fun! That was not fun! That was not fun! Let's try again. Ah. Oh my god, it's like I've got a suicide wish. Why is it so hard to throw it down there? Look, you can do this. You can do this. You go. Oh my god! Are you aiming for this small piece of metal in front of you, Curry? This is your fault. I'm not entirely sure why, but it is. Okay, fine. I won't throw that. He's throwing grenades. And I'm gonna run out of stim packs if this complete failure to fight continues. Right, strike it, strike it. Oh my god! Seriously? This is clearly what Herbert meant when he told me I should never ever leave. Ow! Anything! God, I just got shot again. It's unpleasant. It's uncouth. Did, did he just survive a direct sniper shot without a helmet to the face? Got a feeling he did. I miffed. Oh no, no, no. Yes, no. He seemed to survive it and then not survive it. I don't know really now if I killed him or not. Step back. That could be useful on account of the repeated death that's coming my way. And a fishing rod, which must be helpful. Here? Well, I suppose sometimes you can dig and find water, so not entirely. Bedlam. A looted railroad armor coat. Wow. It's valuable and it's heavy. It's a lovely coat, though. Not quite as good as the one I'm, and I'm in, but, it, but it's good. Uh, well then, oh, this, uh, uh, chest armor is armor, armor, hang on, rated arm, uh, oh, I'm getting confused, 27, 28. Yep, that's good, we're going to use that. Yeah, we can't really fit in here. Additional leg armor on with what we're currently wearing and trying to keep ourselves safe. Ah, well, there's another terminal. Oh, gosh. 
No, 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 I'm not going to be unlocking coding. You're not very good at this stuff either, are you, Kiri? Uh, we've got a nice little workbench. Some steamer stuff. A welded, leaded uh, chest piece of armor. We are coming across a lot of stronger armor. 24, 16, 24, 16. Technically speaking, it's slightly better than what I've got on, but I don't think I can be bothered to get myself out of it. It takes a while to get in and out of the armor. I've become better at just kind of you know, popping it in and popping it off, but uh, it's not easy. It is not easy at all. You have to effectively kind of weld yourself to it and then unweld yourself to it if you want to get out. Hmm. Ghouls. Two dead ghouls. Two dead ghouls. Three dead ghouls. In a mine. Now, how would you get ghouls in a mine? You see, because ghouls have to be people. Irradiated people. Great. So effectively what we've got is a situation whereby someone some thing, some people. Oh dear, that, 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 there's gas. There's gas! There is gas! You know, that might be the first time I've thrown a Molotov recently that hasn't involved me setting fire to myself! <laughs> Effectively, I think what we can safely deduce here is... I had a load of people ended up shut in this mine. And they never got out. Quit it, brew! Quit it, brew! And they got irradiated, which means we're probably going to stuff, find some. I mean, if, if it just a consistent source of irradiation managed to get into the. Uh, this location, they would have been quite significantly poisoned over time. And turned into the wonderful ghouls which you see before you. It's a strange light as well. I don't like it. Whoa. I don't think I detected any, any, any radiation, but I'm feeling weird. Whoa. Whoa. What just happened? Did you see that? It felt like I saw miners. Like actual miners, you know, not, not, not like trying to rip your heart and brains out miners, but you know, minor miners. Not to be confused with mainer miners. Speaking of raiders. I, I, I'm not disagreeing with you. Absolutely not disagreeing with you. Ooh, a 64 damage. Ah, and I bet he does 70. Still, that's good. Tuned one. Bessie's Bessie's quite the. Uh, Bessie has become quite the weapon with lots of extended tuning. Are you? I, I thought that one looked a little bit more alive than than dead. We're now in the un rather unfortunate slash disturbing point of having to check everything to see if it's dead and if it isn't dead we have to wish it wish it on its uh, you know help it on its way well let's wake everything up here comes another one if you wouldn't mind just wandering... Oh, hello. The pit pat's woken up. Is it violent? In so many ways, we're putting these guys out of their misery. I'd be bloody miserable as a ghoul. Don't think they... Uh, I mean, you're basically uh, fermented. 
Look, I don't particularly want to kill you, ghoul, and you don't particularly want to eat me. I don't taste good. I'm scrawny and well and truly marinated. So let's not do this. Let's not do this. Why are we doing this? Why none of us want to do it. There's definitely something. I don't know why I took that car, but I just did. Some cigarette cartons, some, oh, some Menta, some Psycho. But what we came for... is over here. Next to this terminal. Oh, it's a sneaky one! Oh, look at that! It's got a little sneaky hat on, a little sneaky pose, and a little sneaky kind of position with sneaky goggles. Oh, that is, that is good. The safest distance between two points is a shadowy line. Worth about 300 caps, I'd say, by itself. 300, imagine that. Oh, there's a tape. Tim shoots here. No suspicions were raised when the... No. No suspicions were raised with what? Ah, let's try that again. Tim shoots here. No suspicions were raised when the new equipment was brought in the other day. Right. The crew at Station 4 are still under the impression that we are setting up a new station beyond this area. Yes. The standing crew you hired are convincing enough. However, do worry about the project managers of the other stations, especially Bob at Station 1. We all know he takes his job very seriously. His bullet point updates bug the hell out of me. The gut tells me something's going on. This gentleman is incredibly boring. I've lost interest in listening to him. Something to do with Bob and people and, and something and something and something. Good. Right, how the hell do I get out of this mine? Do I have to go back the way I came? I'm not sure I want to do that. Do you think we can go forward to go back, if you know what I mean? Or is that unwise? It might be unwise. We'll carry on. Whoa! Hello? Oh, Jesus. Oh, it's a religious cult! Religious cult! Religious cult of death! Religious cult of death! It's like Hammerlock all over again! Ah! to an extent. Oh, it's worth 150. Action point regeneration. It's pretty good. It's pretty cool. It's not great. It's pretty cool. Might be worth a little bit, but it's heavy, though. Very heavy. Bottle cap. Tim shoots. Fusion coils and so on and so forth and and a big hole. What's in the big hole? Radiation! Is it the big hole? I'm stuck! I'm stuck! I'm stuck! Oh, God! Get up! Hold me! Hugo! Not this way! Don't die! By falling into a big hole! <laughs> Whoa! Okay! That was a good. Let's get out of the big hole before we die and perish. Okay, in that case, um, because of the big hole of death, we're going to go back the way we came. Hooray! We're going back the way we came because I'm covered in brains. I'm hoping to find a nice lifeline. Are you dead? Need some extra assistance going to the afterlife? Huh. Yeah, I just thought to myself, I thought, I thought, you I'm not sure I've been here before. And all of a sudden, everything tried to eat me, so I guess I was right. The miners. Trapped in here. Trapped, being trapped in a mine must be one of the most terrifying things 
that can happen to anyone. And then to find yourself and those around you slowly kind of a kind of transforming, I think. Just make everything even worse. Let's see if we can get our way in here. Oh. But we are bobblicious. We are bobbletastic. We are bobbling along. Oh, and it's opening. It is. Uh, we, we got our way in, Kiri. You'll be amazed what a little... Are you dead? <laughs> you are now. Are you dead? Ah, oh, you're not even a ghoul. Huh. Well, I don't imagine that probably went all that well, Danny. I, I sense that the ghouls are a little bit racist. So much of a... Uh, let's just say preferring their own kind. I bet you're not dead. Oh, no, you are. You're even still slightly human. Anyway, back to racist ghouls. Raiders seem to only like their own kinds. Mutants seem to only like their kinds. Ghouls only seem to like their own time. T t kinds. Tolerance, love, and respect is not the calling card of the Commonwealth, quite frankly. Any of you guys dead? Ah. That's awkward. Those ones actually were dead. There comes a point when you're just setting fire to corpses. Oh, hello! Oh, dear. Shot his arm off. I found a live one! I mean that symbolically and in every other way. Oh, dear. And another stim back again. Oh god, and he's, I found his mother. Clicking at me. Oh god, oh god, oh god, duck, duck and cover. Jesus. More traps? Seriously, even at this late stage? Who thinks that's funny? I don't. Well, I hope this is a way out, otherwise you've come a long way for no reason. Ah, another raider. And another mouser. Some cram. Some rat poison. Ah! You know what? I think I know where we are. No, I don't. No, I don't know where I am. I thought I knew where I was, and now I don't know where I am. Right. Pip boy. Pip pad says this way. Ah, there's the door. Is this the door I came in? In which case, we've done quite a wonderful thing, Gary. Oh, hang on. There's loads of people out here that want to kill me. But I'm sure when I explain to them that I'm just a bobble hunter, and that I've now got the bobble head, and I wish to live in peace, that they'll be perfectly reasonable. And if not... Then, uh... Oh, I haven't really got that far, but I'm sure there'll be some sort of a... Compensation problem. Oh, it's very, very, very dark. Didn't necessarily consider that one either. Um... Uh, it might be wise... To go and have a kip. Because there was a few places to sleep back there, weren't there? I don't really fancy fighting my way through a load of raiders in the, in the, uh, where they can see me and I can't see them. You know what I'm saying? Besides, a night in a quarry with a load of undead ghouls. What could be less exciting than that? And here I am with no duster. Yeah, indeed. I think if you try and clean a chalk quarry, you may possibly be there a while. Was there not a place to sleep? No. Nope. There was a fire and some crispy squirrel beds. But not a place to kip. I'm sure I went past some beds and stuff. Maybe I set fire to them. Yeah, sleeping next to the dead ghouls. 
or going through the dark past the raiders. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. I'm not spending the night in here with the ghouls. Nope, 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 nope. nope. There's a uh, scaring yourself for good reason, and then there's just scaring the bejesus out of yourself. I don't think I would sleep anyway. So, failing that, Raiders at Night, it's gonna have to be the second choice movie, I'm afraid. not alone. I might be being a bit premature here, but where exactly is our next destination? Up here. So if we can get out of the quarry, we're heading northwest, possibly following some long road. Gotcha. Or not. This is bullshit. Well there's a staircase. What do you think? Stealth Boy and Run for it? I think so. Stealth Boy and Run for it worked on the way in. Why would it work on the way out? Oh. Especially if that guy is wearing quite a lot of power armor. Up, 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 up. There's another one. I probably should have had my shotgun out. Oh dear, that one's more alive than not. That's not north. That way's north. Sounds like a turret. That looks like a way to fall into the quarry. Oh god, ow. No, 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 no. See you, boys! What? Why is it telling me that there's another bobblehead? Oh, it's not. It's pretty Curie. Curie will be fine. They don't want to kill Curie. Mainly because they can't. Oh, oh dear. Yes, my, uh, torch. I think the best way to describe it is... Oh hell. Oh hell. Oh hell. There is a death claw. There is a death claw. There is a death claw. There is a huge, huge goddamn death claw right there. A very big death claw is right there. It's right there. And it's dark. And I've got a torch on. I've turned the torch off. Which now means I can see even less. But it's right there. Trust me on this. There's an awful lot of right there going on. Hang on, I'll try and zoom in. Look, you see it? It's, it's got... Uh, well, well, claws, and it kind of smells of death. I don't think it knows where I am. Oh god, this little fight going on over there. But if I move, it might know where I am. Curie, sh shut up, shut, Curie, shut, Curie, shut the hell up, shut the hell, shut the hell up, seriously. Curie, shut up, Curie. If you keep talking, we're gonna have a falling out. As in, our heads will fall out of our brains because of the huge death claw. Shut up! God damn it! Okay, I'm going to try and. Oh God, she's gone for the death claw. She's gone for the goddamn death claw. Oh, this is really. Really very bad indeed. Oh crap! Run! No! It's behind me! I think he's already got Curie. I'm gonna have to weave through the trees and hope that I, it can't. It, it, it'll have to zig when I zag. Oh, it's behind me! There's noises, there's claws. Oh god! Uh. Jesus, it's kicking up dust behind me if I turn. I'm in serious doodah. -doo. 
Maybe we can set it on fire. Akuri's taking on the death port, really? You think a requesting assistance? It's on. F well, it's it's burning, but it doesn't seem to be bothering it. Oh, and I found a. Oh god! 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 Oh god. With extra god on top. Extra god on top. Oh, it's radiated. No oh, hell! Keep going! Keep going! Keep going! That didn't work. That really didn't work. Oh, hell. Something's shooting. Is it shooting at me or because of me? Oh, I'm so tired. I'm so freaking tired. Oh, hello. There's another human being. No idea if it's friend or foe, but let's work together. <laughs> I shot the car and it went flying. <laughs> Oh, we're alive. <laughs> oh, wow. And I've got a death claw hand and a light bulb as a result. And a light bulb. I should have freaking slept with the ghouls. And there's not, many, there's not many times you can genuinely say that in your life. No, there is not. Ah. <sighs> Rat oh. scorpions originated from the oh, Emperor and of course, scorpions, the storyteller. Yes, I thought American pet stores just what I wanted. The time of the Great War. Someone to tell me all about the experience they I just had. They to become one of the wasteland's most dangerous predators, plaguing the descendants of those who once caged them. Great. The poisonous sting has been the unfortunate fate it's of huge. many travelers. Look at the freaking size of it. Thankfully, early tribes such as the dwellers at Shady Sands discovered Ugh. effective antidotes derived from their venom. Good. Well, look, you kind of saved my Please life don't there. Bring any trouble down on us. No, no, no. I'm not. I'm not trying to. But, but thank you for. Talk to Maria if you need anything. Oh, okay. Uh. Oh, well, hang on. Where, where am I? Uh, torch. Uh. Parsons Asylum. Oh. This is uh, the 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 caddo, the cadot, the caddo, the caddo, the cadot. You know the thing with the thing with the the, the the package we're supposed to deliver. Oh, and look, and the place where we find a ball head. Oh, isn't it nice when a plan all comes together? A, we didn't have to sleep with a ghoul. B, we didn't get murdered by the huge deadly death claw. And three, uh, if I could mix a, a system of uh, of listing, we are also with the the. the uh, the bobblehead. So bizarre. Uh, hello. I'm, I'm looking for Maria. Are you Maria? This place is off limits. Oh. You best move along. No, 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 no. no. I, I've, I've been sent here uh, by uh, what was it, uh, Edward, uh, Edward Deegan or something like that. Uh, I'm looking for a missing package or, or something. Uh, I know I look oh. rather heavily armed. And You're the new guy. Uh, this package. Yes, it's busy. Pretty sure we know where it is. The guys that shot Ben are holed up in the Parsons Creamery, just north of here. The Parsons Creamery? Oh, okay. Well, well, well who, who are these guys? Uh, raiders or something? Sure. Assholes with guns. Although it's weird that they're still hanging around so close. Kind of like they're scouting this place or something. I don't like it. I'm glad you're going to finally get rid of them. Hang on, what? Did I, did I, I'm sorry, I missed something. Did I, just, did I just get told to go somewhere else? To a creamery? But what is this? This is, I mean, this is the pit, this is where the pit bats kicked off. Requires a key. Does she have the key? Hang on, just stick my hand delicately inside her. I already her. told you where the raiders are. Oh, yep, 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 yep. Well, one of these guys must have the key. Maybe we need to go and get these raiders in order to, you know, butter them up nicely so we can get in. But it's still bloody in the middle of the night. We need to find ourselves a bed, not that one. It's dark, and I think I'm wearing sunglasses. And I think my torch is on the fritz. 
Well, that was an incredibly uncomfy chair with an incredibly uncomfy night with an incredibly uncomfy sleep. In fact, less of a sleep and more of a, well, more of a sit. And you know what? I walked around this entire thing in the dark and couldn't find a single open bloody door. So the only thing I have left is to go and kill these ba- or go, go, go and take out these bandits that that Maria lady wanted. Which in principle I don't have a principal problem with it, but it's not why I'm here. But I guess I'd better suck up to the, 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 the people that might possibly be able to get me a key. I tell you what though, it's a magnificently scary building. Perhaps even more so than a... Uh, uh, Oh, hang on, let me make sure I'm going the right way. Perhaps even more so than uh, ghouls in a quarry. It's a, it's a ghosts of the asylum, quite frankly. But it's, 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 it's like part castle, part factory, all gothic. Yeah, it, really, it really gets me going. So good morning and, and uh, hello. And uh, it might be time for our kind of morning drink as it normally is about this time. I might try some of the Gwynedd brew that we picked up. Ah, yes, you can uh, really taste the irradiated ghoul as you as you uh, sip through it. Uh, look at it, it's kind of like these little lion statues kind of around it. It's almost like it was something and then became something else. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's a, it's a... The architecture seems to suggest something slightly older. And then when you've kind of got the kind of more factory bits on, it's almost like it was kind of maybe turn of the century. But of course, which century? The which century? Yeah, that's one of the wonderful things. Oh, it's like a, it's like, a like a windmill. Oh, and a nice puddle to wade through. I I'm aware that I just managed to raid me at myself. Thank you, Gary. You don't need to remind me of every little injury that I gave myself. Wow, would you look at that? Now, actually, that's what I'm talking about. Enterprising. Uh, that's an electricity generator, I bet you. Huge windmill generating electricity using the, the, the methods of the past to generate electricity of the future. And when I mean the past, I mean, your know, windmill is like, what, 12th, 13th century? Probably before, really. And powering the 19th and 20th century machines. Human ingenuity. Only they didn't spend all their time using their ingenuity to kill the hell out of each other. Ah. Oh, hang on. I think we may have been spotted. Yep. I think we might have been a little bit noisier than we intended to be. I believe you may be right. Oh. Oh dear, we got a problem, we got a problem, we got a problem, we got a problem, we got a problem. Got a problem. No. Oh, someone's behind me! Someone's behind me. Curie, if maybe you could use your medical uh, knowledge to detach this gentleman from his head, that would be great. Are we done? A pipe shotgun. A mysterious serum. Oh, that must be what Jack wants. That is mysterious. Curie, can you analyze this? Yeah, maybe the pip pad could do something with it. Some sort of damage resistance it seems to be coming up as. Anything else here? What the hell? There's a guy up there. Oh, well, there's a dummy up there. Oh, there's a cardboard cutout up there. <laughs> I, I got, I got, I got thrown by that. Honestly, I did. These, I wouldn't even say these guys look particularly like raiders. I mean, they attacked me, but it, it's also entirely possible they were just provisionally kind of defending themselves and a boat. Oh, there's something around here. It used to be a lake. Well, we've got Jack's serum. And he said he used to work here, and he said he used to be part of this. He's going to hop down. So I guess 
frustratingly, the best person to ask about access to this building, which has one of my bobbleheads in, is 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 it was his name Jack? It was it was Jack or the, the you know the Cabot chap, the the you know chap of Cabot. He's going to be the guy to ask. So we'll probably have to head all the way back south. Unless, unless, unless uh, Curio, I can come up with any better ideas. I mean, there's other bobbleheads to find. Oh, I seem to have, speaking of good ideas, I seem to have walked straight into a dead end. Marvellous! Marvellous! We do seem to be able to defend ourselves better as long as it doesn't involve death claws. That was quite a terrifying experience last night. I think I'm going to try and chalk last night up to uh, hopefully just a bad dream. Because I really wouldn't rather like to go through it again. Something blue flashed over there just for a second. Don't know what. We probably need to head back to the city. There's a road here we found just beneath the mud. The city's over there, as you can see. But between us and the city lies a lake. Hmm. Popping in for a swim? I'm not sure I fancy that. But the road goes, uh, well, the wrong way. We must have got rounded before. Parson Asylum. I suppose we could go for a swim. I've got a... I've got some Radex and some Radaway. How bad could it be? He says. All right, in for a penny, in for a pound, in for a drink. And don't hit the ground! It singes the nostrils. That isn't entirely unpleasant. And you know what? I think it may possibly have a... Uh, washed off some of the... Uh, the braids. Oh, it's a farm! Oh, it's a, a peaceful community. Either that or they haven't noticed me to try to start bludgeoning me yet. One of the two. I always feel like I've, uh, I should, uh, with the experience of the last couple of days, walking in everywhere and saying, hello, I'm Hugo, tends to get me shot in the mouth. However, I am who I am and I will be who I be. Hello, I'm Hugo. It's nice to meet you. I've got produce for sale, along with some other supplies we scrounged up. Let me know if you want to trade. Uh, sure. Or what, what kind of things have you got? You got some radex, but I did just go for a little bit of a swim. Scalpel, shipment of cloth. You've got some uh, good, good goods there, I'm afraid. Uh, I will uh, take. Oh, I, suppose I, I feel like I should kind of encourage this community by uh, purchasing some of their wares. Um, I will take this carrot. Thank you for your time. Good. Would you like some things that I have found? I have a damaged synth's right leg. And I have this powered armor, which is also good for you to have. And then I have other things that you may find useful, like this Deathclaw hand. You can put it on, on the windowsill and admire it and show it to your friends. Good. Hello, I'm Hugo. Wiseman is a great man and a great leader. What's more, I owe him my life. Wiseman. It's so nice to meet a... Do you know, how long has it been since we met a group of people that didn't try and kill us? Whether it was the, the, the raiders over there, or the, the raiders over there, or the ghouls over there, or the raiders over there, or the... Uh, super mutants over there. I mean, everyone has tried to bloody murder me, you know? This Commonwealth is not good. Hi there. Hello. Good to, good to meet you. I'm 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 Hugo. Don't you know? Hi. Good 
good to meet ya. I, I know it's and we grow the best tarberries in the Commonwealth. I can see that. They're quite quite magnificent. Let me go and examine them. You know, you can make you can ferment tarberries, you know what I'm saying? You can kind of ferment them up and you can make some pretty good stuff out of them. And these are good quality tarberries, and that's um, absolutely. Uh, workshop device doesn't seem to be working. Boston Bugle. Burned fashion magazine, not really my thing. But you know what? This might be as good a place as any to kick back just for a minute. I had such a bad sleep last night that anything else will do. These people are not trying to kill me. I shall buy another carrot from them. I shall sit here. I shall munch it. I shall probably have a beer or two. And when I come back, I shall be ready to once again hunt for good bobbles. See, and see if we can get into that asylum and travel across and try and complete the collection. The adventure of a hammerlock is, is never done. Or it's certainly not done yet. Pip-pip! And huzzah!